What's up everyone, Kevin here. In this video, I wanna share with you guys some tips on how to pick the perfect snowboard jacket for you. Snowboard jackets can be very different from jacket to jacket. Each one is made for a different type of riding style, but also for different mountain conditions. So in this video, I'm gonna take you guys through three jackets, highlight what type of riding style and mountain condition that jacket is good for, and also just go over some of the key things from each jacket that really stand out to me. Hopefully with this video, I'll help you find the perfect snowboard jacket for you. So starting off with this jacket here, this is the 686 3-in-1 Smarty Jacket. The unique thing about this jacket is that it is a 3-in-1, so there's three different ways you can wear this. Today I'm up snowboarding in the Turin Park here in Hintertux, and the perfect jacket for me today is this mid-layer jacket. It's light and warm enough, just the perfect jacket for a day in the park. You can also just ditch the mid-layer and wear this jacket as a shell. So if you're heading to the mountain and there's a bit of precipitation and you wanna stay dry and not too warm, you have the option of just wearing this jacket as the shell. But if the temperature is gonna drop, you can bring the mid layer along and then zip it back into the shell just to stay warm on those colder days. A few highlights that I immediately noticed about this jacket. One is I really like that there are two chest pockets. It's nice to be able to divide things up on a jacket. I also really like the style of the mid-layer jacket. So I've actually had this jacket in the past and wore the mid-layer all the time, not only on the mountain, but off the mountain as well. So this is the perfect jacket if you're the type of snowboarder that wants to do a bit of everything on the mountain from park to powder and your local mountain has those variable weather conditions. So those warmer days, but also the really colder ones and you need a jacket that can cover all your bases. Next, I've got the 686 Hydra Thermograph jacket. And this one is very cool because it's like an all-in-one do-everything jacket. It's got thermograph technology, which means on the inside, they've placed strategic insulation areas to keep you warm, but then also some ventilation areas to help keep you cool. I've already worn this jacket one day and you can definitely feel those areas that are designed to keep you warm. A few immediate standouts I noticed about this jacket. One is how light the jacket is. When I'm snowboarding, I just wanna feel light and as free as possible. I also like how the zipper comes up to the side, giving you this like soft piece of material right at your chin. It can get a little bit rough here, so the fact that the zipper comes up to the side keeps you that much more comfortable. If you're the type of rider that doesn't wanna overcomplicate your day of snowboarding and you just wanna have one piece that does well in all conditions, then the Hydra Thermograph jacket is definitely the one for you. Next up, we got the 686 GT Gore-Tex jacket. And this one is definitely the most premium of the three jackets. If you snowboard someplace where you get a bit more precipitation, so heavier snow or rain, and it's important for you to stay dry all day long, then this is the jacket you wanna get. The Gore-Tex is also gonna help to release some of that moisture that your body produces. This one specifically is a very bright color, making it easy for your friends to see you on those deep powder days. This is also a good jacket if you are going into the backcountry and you need to roll it up and put it into a backpack because of that light weight. A few of the standouts about this jacket, one is this massive chest pocket. I really like this for sliding your cell phone in there or anything you got. It's also very spacious around the hood and neck so that if you are out on a deep powder day and you wanna keep the snow from going into your face or down your neck, you can do this up and just feel comfortable and protected from the snow. I'd recommend this jacket for somebody whose local resort may be on the wetter side, so if you need to stay really dry, or if you're going into the backcountry and you need something lightweight that you can throw into a backpack. A quick recap of the three different types of jackets. The three-in-one giving you lots of options if you wanna have that mid-layer jacket for riding park or riding on warmer days, having the shell to put on to keep you dry, or wearing all three together on those wetter and colder days. The Hydra Thermograph jacket, if you wanna keep it simple and just have one piece that does everything really well, that's a good option. And then finally, you got the GT Gore-Tex shell, something that's gonna keep you dry if you live in those wetter climates and is also great for a day of backcountry where you can just take it off and throw it into a backpack and stay nice and light. If you still have any questions, definitely hit me up down in the comments. I'll put links to all three of these jackets below in the description. Thanks to 686 for sponsoring this video. Have fun out there snowboarding, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video soon.